welcome students with the practical number one. A practical one that is working with the basic C sharp and ASP.NET for solving all the questions of this practical. We are using and developing the program under the console based applications. Let's see the first question. The first question is quite easy. Create an application that obtains four integer values from the user and display the product. What do we need to do for developing this application? Few things we must be knowing first of all. What do we need to understand how to display the message or the output using the C sharp as we are using the C sharp language. In a C sharp language, uh, the namespace named system. System is what a namespace. What is the namespace? Is the collection of classes. So system namespace consists of a class named as console. And this console class consists of a method write as well as it also has a method named as write line. So we are using the method write and write line of a console class under the namespace named as system. Write will be helping to display the contains and remains on the same line and write line will write the contain then goes to the next line. It is similar to the Java's print and println method. Further, we will be also using two more methods of this console class. The one method is console.readline. Readline does what? Readline accepts the string. It accepts the data in a string format. And then we require to convert it either in integer or inside a float or any respective format. We are also going to use a console.readkey method. A read key method is used for waiting and halting for a keystroke and for converting the string into an integer. We are using the parse method of int by using int.parse. We can do the same thing that is conversion of string into integer by using convert dot to int 32 or to int 64 method. So let us go for developing this particular small application. I had already started a Visual Studio 2019 over here and here I am creating the new project. So I am creating the new project. It asked me which type of project I would like to create. I just say I would like to develop the console app .NET Core. You know that console app .NET framework is there and .NET Core is there. We have to use the language C sharp because it is in our curriculum. So console app .NET Core. A .NET Core is nothing but uh, an open source of Microsoft and .NET framework is nothing but a proprietary options of Microsoft. So I am preferably using what .NET Core. You can see the difference here itself. That we are using a C sharp which will be operating on Linux, Mac OS, Windows and console. Where you will find that we are using and developing .NET framework. It works only on a windows or wherever the dotnet framework is installed but it is better to use a dotnet core app so i am using the console application dotnet core further i had given a click on next i decided my location i had given the name of the project that is practical one then i had given a click on create even in this particular source code also i will be uploading and it will be giving the link to download Okay, it asks if the project cannot be created because other project is already exists in a folder. I just say, okay, practical. Let's check if any particular, okay, already the folder is there. So I will remove the folder first. And now I'd given the name as practical one. I'd given a click on create. So the project will get created now. And you will find this is the solution explorer which shows my solution name is practical one, my project name is practical one and my program is what? Program.cs. By default, some code is written for me. You know that for using the classes under namespace, the namespace need to be imported in the program and for importing the namespace in the program, in c -Sure, we use a using statement. So we had specified using followed by the namespace which you would like to import. This is the biggest namespace in Microsoft.NET. Uh, this is a user defined namespace named as practical one under which a by default class is given to us named as the program which consists of main method. I just remove the code inside a main method. 
you can see the difference over here main m has been capitalized and main method is accepting the command line argument inside an array called as args now here i need to declare four variables for accepting four integer values because the question is same the question is create an application that obtains four integer values from the user and display the product so i need four variables for accepting four values and one variable for calculating and further displaying the product so i declare the variable by saying int number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 further and displaying the messages and i declare one more variable as double maybe product so i declare true we can declare the variable in the answer also then displaying the messages accepting the value is a task so i'm displaying the messages by using console dot write display the message as first number further mention number 1 equal to console dot read line but the problem is what read line except the string and number 1 is an integer so i need to convert it into an integer this can be done by using in dot parse or it can be also done by using convert dot to in 32 there are methods called as convert dot dot in 32 or 2 in 32 or 2 in 64 or 2 in 16 it depends on the size of the integer so i had used over here in dot parse so accepted string will be converted into integer stored inside number 1 again i had mentioned console dot write second number further value has been accepted in number 2 by saying number 2 equal to in dot parse console dot read line then i had mentioned over here as console dot write third number then i mentioned number 3 equal to in dot parse or i can write over here by saying convert dot 2 in 32 in the bracket again i had mentioned console dot read line so accepted string will be converted into an integer stored inside number 3 then i mentioned console dot write fourth number then mentioning number 4 equal to convert dot to in 32 in the bracket i had mentioned over here console dot read line so accepted string will be converted into integer stored inside number 4 then provided product equal to number 1 end to number 2 end to number 3 end to number 4 so product will be calculated and now i would like to display the output so i had mention sorry console dot write line product and for that dimension the variable name called as a pro i would like to halt the program for keystroke so i had mention console dot read key so program is completed now would like to execute the program so i just run my practical one so program is now getting compiled it will be executed and output will be displayed on a console screen to you that program this program is basically accepting four numbers and further displaying the product of it We'll wait for a second. First time execution it takes a time. Fine, the message has been displayed as first number. But what I am doing is just I try to increase the size of the font so it is easy for you to view it. Fine. So it asks me the first number. I'm going to first number as uh, two, and the second number is three, and the third number is four. The fifth, fourth number is five. And you will find the product is going to be 120. That is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2, 5 into 4 20, 20 into 3 60, into 2 is what 120. So this is what our first practical one first program that is accepting four integer values and then displaying the product of it. Now uh, you know very well what is the thing a method which are used by us is a write. We had used write line. We had used read line. We had used read key. these are the method which are been used by us of a class named as the console and as the console class is inside a system name space we had imported the system name space by using using system 
in the next video we are looking at the second program of the same practical